I know that. Like, so, it just... Ugh. So what's funny is uh, I just wanted to touch base. You started uh, talking about, like, arcades, arcade culture out in Puerto Rico. That's something that I've always, like, attributed to Puerto Rico for me. As a kid growing up, I loved Guilty Gear Reload. I actually have the case of it sitting around on the floor right there. I was showing somebody on my stream. The reason I bring that up is that we would see Marvel 2 cabs all over the place. Oh, my in, God. In Puerto yeah, Rico. Yeah. VS? Was, Puerto Rico, Marvel 2 was hype. No, Marvel versus, Ver, a, versus yeah, series yeah. in general. The Versus series <clears throat> in general. Every single one of them was every like single, hype. Every single arcade. There was like one time we went to some obscure movie theater while my mom was in a mall. And, had a, and, and they had Marvel 2 in there, but nobody was playing. So my brother was like, hey, is anybody selling this cab? Being an idiot, right? Some One of the <laughs> workers just shows up and bodies us. Oh, like with Colossus, and I'm like, all right, cool, no problem. We walked away. That but means then, no. Like, that means no. Nope. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The thing was, he puts was the like, quarter in for you. My brother had asked like the lady behind the register. She must have went to the back, like Mira, and you know they're saying something, and then came out and killed us all. So he like must have been no. the manager. Like this is stays my here. Cab, you know, this stays yeah, here. Uh, but you know what was the other big scene in Puerto Rico when and, Tekken Five oh. came out? Really? The scene in Puerto Rico exploded. That scene for like, five. I had so, for five mm. Tekken five D and then five DR. The scene was as as strong as it's ever been. And the FG, like FGC was like third strike. People were playing it. Yeah. People played Guilty Gear, but those tournaments were like twenty to thirty people. Tekken mm -hmm. was sixty to seventy, Ooh, almost damn. eighty at some point. And it was like a lot of hype because the arcades were everywhere. That arcade had the controller thing that you could plug the. Yeah, controller I in. remember that. So I remember that. Yeah. Players could go to the arcades. And that was like so revolutionary that everybody was playing it. Like I yeah. was playing Tekken Five. It's it's I Tekken. Because... Tekken always got love for the casuals. The casual audience, I don't know what it is, but fuckers love Tekken. They just do. Like <laughs> yeah, somebody, like, they always got a, like a pocket Eddie Gordo. Like Eddie is always bro, that guy. Four buttons and you're hitting somebody and it hurts. That's that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if you win. Yeah. You got that. So hit. it's funny. I, I used. Well, when I was younger, I used to always look for Marvel 2 caps. The one time, hmm. in, so I had two stories real quick. In Stop and Go in Carolina, they had a uh, um, yeah. Marvel 2 cap. So I was like, yo, Marvel 2. And in the corner of my ear, I hear an air dash from Guilty Gear. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I looked to the side, they have Reload sitting there. So I went and played Reload. I hit a destroy on one guy. And then one dude like came back and killed me with soul. I'm like, all right, I'm done. I'm leaving. So then the hmm. another time I came back, um, it was the year Tropic Thunder came out. I went to watch Tropic Thunder in Puerto Rico. Oh. And I was like looking for Marvel 2, and all they had was Tekken. I'm like, yo, oh, what, what is this? What's going on here? <laughs> the revolution. Like, the revolution. Yeah, yeah, it happened, exactly. baby. I think that was in 2010 or 11. For but like, Tekken yeah, 6 no died two. here. Tekken 6 yeah. died because mm, the, the arcade cap was so expensive, the timeouts mm. weren't buying it. So oh, we had okay. no Tekken 6 caps anywhere when the game Damn. came out. And so the, the, the arcade scene died for Tekken in that moment. And Tekken mm. actually got lower numbers because it was just console and yeah. online was trash. was not good yeah so, Tekken 7's yeah. online still trash now come on man we in the modern age I'm no, sorry to all my Tekken heads actually, but Tekken 7 actually the way it's gone visual the thing is that access for information is so much better these days that uh, everybody yeah. gets to see content of the game everybody like yeah. falls in love with it so it's like it's fine like Tekken 7 is yeah. is good here in Puerto Rico it's, but I'll say it, no no Tekken scene has been bigger than Tekken 5 in Puerto Damn. Rico like, oh, that's the wow. tech Not even seven. For me, for me, it was um, it was actually MK. Mortal Kombat was like, like I don't know what it is, but especially in Ponce, like it was big. Two, it was Mortal two, Kombat two or all two, no, no, like all three, all three. Two was like, big. All, all the two, two was two was big, but like I was there when when yeah. one came out, and then two was insane. But I still remember going to La Wancha, and you would still see Trilogy and MK three cabs everywhere like yeah. every bar had it you'd walk down for those that don't know what the wancha is wancha is basically think of it like a like it's just like a, a, a shore like walk it's like it's just going by yeah. the shore and there's an actual boardwalk but it would be like nothing then it would always be like a little little stand or something there'd be a little arcade with crane games always a, a fighting game somewhere so you would jump from oh yeah versus you'd be marvel marvel versus capcom or street for x-men versus street fighter to then mk3 to another mk to another marvel it was like those two were the ones you'd always see out there when ultimate came out that shit was packed oh everywhere. yes yes because the, the ninjas were it. back so yes. everybody was everybody was going nuts <clears throat> yeah them days yeah. them days <clears throat> Those times, man. You know, so in twenty like thirteen or something, I went to on vacation with my family and we went to Playita Rosada down in the south. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that's, we were uh, just like they were like eating and then I found like a the smallest second impact cab. 
So, oh gosh. So like, wow. yeah. Yeah. God second damn. impact. And I was just like, all right, I'm just playing here while they're just eating. Uh, no, just stuff like that. I just find it so like vintage of well, Puerto Rico. Like, I'm I'm on the search for arcades when I'm there. I don't know. Just have problems like that. See if they still survive. Um, 